Biologists have been incredibly successful at finding all the components of biological systems, all the bits and pieces such as the genes and the proteins, etc. But it's increasingly clear that for many real biological systems, this is just where the fun begins. The biochemical role of many of these components is simply to regulate each other, to switch each other on and off, like the many thousands of transistors in an electronic circuit. Systems biology therefore focuses more on the interactions rather than the components themselves. And therefore, a network of interactions has become a central image in systems biology. Systems level concepts can operate at many different scales in biology. Feedback could lead to oscillations, for example, driving the cell cycle, or to bistability, which is important in decision making. Decision making, again, can be at the level of an individual cell, which has to choose its cell fate, or at the level of many interacting neurons which allow an, an entire organism to make a decision. We have an outstanding list of international speakers so far, covering many different types of network. For example, protein-protein interaction maps, dynamic cellular networks, regulatory networks for patterning tissues, the design of synthetic biological networks, and network evolution. Ultimately, most of these networks have the role of controlling something. So the goal of the meeting is to bring together all these perspectives under the general title of biological control networks.